Hello everybody. In today's demo, we are going to demonstrate how Prisma Cloud identity-based micro-segmentation solution can empower DevSecOps teams in order to make application as code so they can deploy their applications and automate the security posture from within the pipeline. This guarantees that security teams can define the higher level policies, enforce guardrails, enforce compliance checks, enforcing right, environment segmentation, and still decentralize security in a way to automate the security policies inside the DevOps pipeline. And we are now see Prisma Cloud here, and you can see the micro segmentation model, and notice that in our Kubernetes cluster, and for the sake of this demo, we're just calling it pipeline cluster, we have no pods deployed yet. We have Jenkins, which we're going to use to automate the CI CD pipeline. And just as uh, uh, to mention, we are using Jen Jenkins here, but you really could be using any other tool like Azure DevOps, AWS Code Pipeline, Google Cloud Build, GitLab, etc. And we have GitHub, which is hosting our coach. It's hosting the Kubernetes templates, it's hosting the Jenkins file, and it's hosting the micro segmentation policy templates. Before we get started, let's just connect it to our cluster and check our namespace. Here on this demo, we're going to use the Gasbook app, which is an application that is offered by Kubernetes for people to try out the application deployment. And as you can see, we have no resource, no pods deployed in the Gasbook namespace yet. Now, let's go back to Jenkins and deploy our application. So let's just, we have this pipeline, which we call the Deploy Secure app, which hosts, right, connects to GitHub, gets all the instructions and automates the deployment. So let's build the application now and Jenkins is automating the process. So it's connecting right to GitHub, getting all the repository code, deploying the application, connecting to Prisma Cloud, right? Getting the authorization to Prisma Cloud, creating the rule sets and finishing the process. Mm -hmm. So the whole process took 11 seconds. Now let's connect to GitHub and see what we have there. As you can see here, we have the YAML templates that constructs Jenkins how to make the deployment of our Kubernetes app. So we have this front-end deployment, the front-end service, the Redis right deployment, the Redis service. But what really matters for us here is this guestbook rule set YAML template, which controls how our applications will be deployed. Just looking at one piece of the code, we can see that we have an application called allow front-end to back-end which instructs the micro segmentation model to allow inside the guest book application to allow pods that have the label tier equals front end and are based in the front end image to connect to pods that have the label tier equals back end and are based on the Redis follower image. So as you can see, there is no API address information. There's just label instructions that are controlling how the communication flow will happen inside the application. Really simple, just allow front-end to talk to the back-end. Let's go back now to Prisma Cloud, and we can see that we have our application now deployed, we have all the pods controlled there, and let's just switch to the namespace so we can see the details of the application. We can see the pods deployed, and we can see the communication flows happening, and we can actually click on the pods and we can see the policies that were deployed. And we can see our allow front end to back end policy. We have another policy that allows traffic from the load balancer to reach the front end. And all of those policies were automatically created inside the pipeline. So this really allows us to check and notice and everything what's going on. And we can even click on the flow just improve the time a little bit and click on the flow and we can actually see in the flow analysis all the traffic that happened inside the application. We can see right what policy matched, connection to the DNS service, and we can see the policies that allow our traffic to happen. And important to mention, everything here 
was automated on Jenkins. So there was no need for you to come to the UI and make all the configuration. Just to finish, let's go back to our cluster and check the pods. As you can see, now we have pods deployed and the security policies were automated within the pipeline. So this was a demo. I hope this was beneficial to you and have a great day.